when she told him she too had lived in CUNY homes. Remember, homes. All righty, we do want to cut in really quickly here. It looks like the Los Angeles Lakers are finally returning home after a long period of time in the bubble. They started at the end of July and have been separated from a lot of their friends and family for months now. But they are finally coming home. The Lakers are now NBA champions. champions. They defeated the Miami Heat. 106 to 93 in game six of the NBA Finals just last night, winning the best of seven series, four games to two. This is a big one. It's the 17th title for the franchise, tying the Lakers with the Boston Celtics for the most of all time in NBA history. This was the Lakers' first NBA Finals appearance since 2010 when the late Kobe Bryant won his fifth and final NBA title. Bryant, along with his daughter, of course, Gianna, and seven others, died just this year, January 26th, in a horrible, tragic helicopter crash. We all remember that. So this was a sentimental year for the Lakers. Staples Center last night, just crazy with celebrations. Lakers fans showing up in droves to celebrate the Lakers' 17th title. So we're going to wait for the team to come off the plane. I'm sure they had a fun night last night celebrating the win. And in particular, uh, LeBron James is probably excited. This is his fourth championship and his 10th NBA Finals. James previously won two titles with the Heat in 2012 and 2013, and then with the Cavs, of course, in 2016. Yesterday, he became the NBA's all-time leader in playoff games played at 260. Here's the team coming off the plane right here. See as LeBron leading the way. Awesome. These guys probably definitely happy to be home. <laughs> Look at them throwing their hands up in the air, excited to be in the fresh air of the West Coast, heading home from Florida, of course. They are not in the bubble anymore. So there you have it. NBA champs, Los Angeles Lakers stepping foot in Los Angeles after a long trek in Florida inside the bubble. The bubble has popped. They now get to celebrate in LA. <laughs> Lakers fans definitely excited across the country. Something to celebrate during the pandemic. Not sure if we're going to see any Los Angeles celebrations. Mayor Eric Garcetti tweeting out last night saying, hey, we're excited that our boys took home the W, but everyone remember we are in the middle of a pandemic, so celebrate safely and at a distance. You can see media out there getting all the reaction, the hugs, the excitement. Of course, these guys have all been together, so none of them were wearing masks coming off the plane. These are the only people they've been around the entire time. And again, James is the first player in NBA history to earn NBA Finals MVP with three different teams. Some people saying that he's just the greatest of all time. It depends on who you ask. Only Michael Jordan has more NBA Finals MVP awards with six total. So we'll see if this is it for LeBron James or if he 
comes out with another one, hopefully with a more normal season. But exciting times in Los Angeles nonetheless. Again, you're watching news now from Fox. We're taking you 